This is my routine day in Melbourne as brand ambassador for the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. We start with a press conference and go into one-on-one -on -one interviews. And uh, it's interesting because now most of you all are familiar faces, uh, acquaintances, good acquaintances. So it's it's always uh, very warm. It's a um, feeling of warmth when I meet all of you all. Uh, I feel very welcome. And uh, then it's always exciting to talk about the festival because uh, every year it's expanding in scope. We're taking baby steps. Uh, but having said that, I think, you know, this year is uh, very crucial because this year there's a theme to the festival, uh, which is equality. Equality across genders, races, religions, um, disability, and all of that, and uh, which is interesting because I think uh, the dialogue on equality has been going on forever and will probably keep going on because equality can never be absolute. Uh, so I'm just glad that this film uh, festival is not just a run-of-the-mill film festival where films are being shown and people come to watch it and therefore its its commercial scope is increasing. Uh, we do hope that the commercial scope increases but uh, it is saying something beyond which is very important. Um, you are the face of Subhash Ghai's uh, new Gurukul. Uh, I'm, I, I actually uh, inaugurated um, the cultural hub at Whistling Woods, and uh, that's all there is to it. Would there be any participation from you for that? Uh, no, I, I just inaugurated it. Uh, that, that's the extent of my involvement. Yeah. Nothing more to do with no. meditation? No, 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 not, not at all. Now, um, I mean, most of the things, like I said, you already, already covered there. What to expect from uh, Hamari Adhuri Kahani? Is it something to do with? Kahani no, not at all. Kahani was a thriller. Hamari Adhuri Kahani is an intense love story. It talks about uh, forbidden love <laughs> and uh, so it's, uh, it's a love story I'm doing after I think almost 10 years after Parinita. And I'm very excited because I got the opportunity to work not just with Mohit Suri but also with uh, Bhat Sab. Um, Arth has played a very important role in my um, in my yearning to be an actor, and uh, therefore it's it's. I'm glad I'm getting this opportunity. I got this opportunity to work closely with Bhat Sab. It's releasing on the 12th of June. Hamari Adhuri Kani. Thank you. Ben Azir, uh, yeah, you know. They are women of substance. How, how do you, is it easy for you because you are a woman of substance too? No, uh, you know, post the dirty picture, I must admit that I've got offers to do eight biopics. And while each story has been marvelous, uh, I haven't committed to doing any biopic yet. Um, I think I, I am inspired by a lot of women of strength. And... Um, the names you mention are no different, um, but uh, but as of now, all I can say is that I'm not playing either of them. Yeah. That sort of clears the. the yeah. Now, just on, on a personal front, any good news coming? Uh, there's always good news. I'm in Melbourne. What could be better? <laughs> that is personal. <laughs> uh, that is personal because I love Melbourne and I I feel very proud to be associated with this festival. Thank you. The oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>